breaking news. I hope that you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Love it. Yes. So, folks, uh, you may not believe it. Once again, right now, hundreds of explosions in Beirut and all across Lebanon, this time in radio communication devices and cell phones. Uh, I, I hope you understand, 25 hours after the largest cyber attack in human history that brought 5,000 injured and of which 500 of them are completely blinded, now we're talking about Again, during all the the the, the um, uh, funerals and uh, other ceremonies that are being held right now in Beirut, hundreds of explosions across Beirut. This time, radio communication devices and some cell phones exploding in multiple locations across Beirut during the um um during the um uh, funeral of the son of the member of parliament of, from Hezbollah uh, unbelievable unbelievable we're watching a movie almost uh, it's it's like near tavor and uh, an, on a new thriller so guys i hope that if we didn't do it yesterday we will do it today Hezbollah is completely in a state of shock, defeat, chaos, and confusion. This is the time. Someone in Israel's Ministry of Defense, in the top government, someone, now it's the time. Do it. And again, once again, we're talking about... Um, uh, excommunication devices that are being, uh, you know, exploding. One would think that they learn from what happened last time. I don't know if this is a major, major step towards a preemptive strike uh, that will cripple Hezbollah or not. They didn't do it yesterday. Israelis were super, super disappointed from the impotency of this government and this military. Because we ha if you want to bring 82,000 people back to their homes, they need to know that Hezbollah is not there anymore, okay? If you want that, Hezbollah has to be completely defeated. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to end today, but I really hope it will end better than yesterday, okay? And uh, again, right now, hundreds of explosions 25 hours after the largest cyber attack in human history that caused without a single gunshot. 5,000 injuries of which 500 people lost their eyesight. Many of them, anyone who, who took the device to look at the message lost his either his fingers or his eyes. And people who didn't pick up the device had their loins, groins, and their, uh, um, their waistline. Uh, injured. Um, and if that's not enough, yesterday, quite a few members of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard that were carrying the exact same device, those same pagers that apparently were Taiwanese, but were manufactured in Hungary. And uh, some interesting company in Hungary did something that put some explosive in the devices and once the battery was heated as a result of the message that was sent the explosive exploded and caused it again i on my telegram channel this one you can find videos and photos of what's going on right now because this signal is sent as if it's from hezbollah and this is why all of their uh, operatives were immediately looking into it okay look guys this is serious i'm not sure if you understand the magnitude of the situation but this is changing the map of warfare from now on this is it guys we did not fire a single single gunshot single drones single f-16 nothing all we did, all, not we, all that has been done. I'm not going to tell you who did it. 
is sending a message, pressing a button, and that's it. Unbelievable. Please share this. I'm going to keep you updated on uh, Telegram. This is a whole different type of warfare. This is like Pandora's box. Because if Israel can do this to the citizens of Lebanon, if America ever goes to war with another superpower, that superpower can probably use the same technology against us. Here's what Israel did for the past two days. Batteries exploded all over Lebanon. First were pagers, walkie-talkies, solar panels, the batteries of motorized scooters. One person was getting his hair cut and the hair clippers exploded. Of course, the vast majority of the people that suffered through this are the civilians. And two, sadly, were children. Here's their pictures. Over 3,000 people were injured. Now again, if Israel can do this to the citizens of Lebanon, if America goes to war with another superpower that has high technology, can they do it to us? The pagers and walkie-talkies did a lot of damage, but my cell phone has a bigger battery. And yes, cell phones were one of the items that, that popped too. And not just superpowers, are hackers, now that they know this ability exists, are they gonna be able to use that too? Can hackers pop batteries? So it just opened up a completely new form of warfare and it's gonna be against civilians, mostly. Sam, expecting a message yes. Yes. and instead the pagers blowing up in head raising highly coordinated oh, attack. Thousands of men in the region overnight. In the afternoon, Lebanon. Thousands of pages flying to members heads were exploded across the country. It was in his.